our next guest making history as the first African-American bachelorette. She has since gone on to become my favorite correspondent on the show Extra. Please welcome Rachel Lindsay. First of all, you are make give up. Y'all here? Yeah, they screaming oh, at you. Thank you. You look good. Thank you. You your best life. <laughs> now, <laughs> I've, I've, I just want to say thank you. You've been around for quite some time. You helped me out in promotion for respect. If any of y'all seen that, and then also for the show. Like, you came out this summer and helped out, and then, so I'm so happy to have you here to celebrate you and all your goodness. You, you looking good and everything that you're doing. Thank you. I'm okay. a big fan, so wow. it is my pleasure Thank you. to just, like, uplift you and support you. And I just have to pause, because you said I was your favorite correspondent. Yes! Did y'all hear, hear her say favorite? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and then, okay, so you, you made history being the first black Bachelorette, mm -hmm. and then you found your, you actually found your husband. Can you believe it? Girl, <laughs> you understand on it. Do you see her husband? Sometimes it works. Oh, baby, that worked. <laughs> oh, my God. Can we see another picture of your husband? Okay. I'm not mad at it. I'm not, oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> would, would you ever do another reality show? No. No? I mean, listen, I know you're supposed to never say never, uh -huh. right? But I can't imagine myself doing it again. I, it worked for me. I got everything I wanted and, and more. But what I like is when I did The Bachelor, I was in that bubble. I lived in that mansion. You knew those people that were in my life. And I'm not that much of a public person, believe it or not. Ah. So if I do another reality show, I don't want you to know where I live, right. where I work, what kind of car I drive, who my <laughs> friends are with, where I'm kicking it. So I like that now Brian and I live a more private life, but wow. you know, maybe, maybe, but I don't think so. You never say never, but maybe. But maybe. Okay, I understand that. Okay, so what's some of the craziest things that's happened on the red carpet? Ooh, um, well, what I'm always shocked when someone tells me they watch The Bachelor, wow. and I'm like, wait, I'm a fan of you, and you're excited to see me. You know me before mm -hmm. I'm even, you know, able to tell you who I am. So I was on um, doing the Oscars this past year. Okay. And so I'm working it, I'm in the groove, I'm asking the questions, and all of a sudden, I'm trying to get Mila Kunis's attention. Wow. And I'm like, Mila, Mila! And she turns and looks at me, and she goes, ah! <laughs> it's Rachel! <laughs> and everybody stopped. This is the Oscars. Wow. Everybody stopped and looked like, who? Who does she want? And I was like, I can't, I couldn't believe it. She was like, I can't do an interview, but I just want to say hey. <laughs> and I was like, hey girl. Oh my goodness, it shocked you. <laughs> this I, is. I'll never get over that. Okay, well, if she got that to say, what was some of your favorite interviews, like the people you freaked out over? Woo, okay. Other than you, obviously. Mm. I've had the pleasure I'll to interview it. you several times. Thank you. Um, Rihanna. Yes. I'm a big fan of Rihanna, and it takes a lot to make me nervous. Uh -huh. But when, yes, when I walk, I was, I was so nervous in this moment. So she walks up, and the first thing she says to me is, hey, boo. And I'm like, me? <laughs> is she talking to me? Just that cool with it. And then I start stammering over my words because yes. I wasn't expecting her to approach me in that way. And then we go on, we're doing the whole interview. She's so uplifting, so she great, is. so down to earth. And then afterwards she walks and she goes, hey, I listen to you. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm watching you. I said, oh my gosh. She took the time yes. to support me and encourage me. Yes. I said, you know how they're like, yes, don't Diana. meet the people you love? Yes. Yes. It's nothing like She it. was everything. Wow. Do y'all understand this girl is a licensed attorney? Like, <laughs> <laughs> do you still practice? I don't still practice. I stopped practicing in 2019, but what a lot of people don't realize is they think, oh, after the show, I just started doing this. Not true. I practiced for two more years, and what I was doing is I was still practicing law full time, but then I was also freelancing doing media stuff because I wanted to do both. Uh -huh. And I was just overworking myself, and I was sitting in my hairdresser's chair. And you know how it is. Your yes. hairdresser's like your best friend, yes. your girl, <laughs> your confidant, everything. You tell them everything. So I'm sitting there, she's just looking at me, and she's like, Rachel, you can't pour out of an empty cup. And she says, what is it that's holding you back from what you want to do? And I said, and I was afraid to tell her law because it's defined me for such a long time. I worked hard to get there. My dad's an attorney, now judge. And then I said, it's law. And she said, you got to let it go. 
And I said, you know what? I'm going to do that. And it was the first time that I made, like, well, after Bachelor, a real selfish decision for myself to follow my heart and do what I wanted to do. Wow. And I just decided to jump. I turned my resignation letter in, and mm -hmm. I've been flying ever since. Look at that. <laughs> you see how you inspire us? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I, I got to ask, like, what else? What else do you, I mean, because you've done so much. Like, what's your next vision? Do you have a, a, a new vision, new dream? So I, I'm very type A. Uh -huh. And so I used to always say, this is my five-year plan, this is my 10-year plan. But what this whole journey has taught me, because my life has changed so much right. in the last six years, is that I just work hard and I do things that I'm passionate about and things with purpose, and I just see where they go from there. Right. I don't want to limit myself because I could have never imagined. I mean, I'm sitting on the couch talking to Jennifer Hudson, oh, y'all. What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I never could have imagined this for myself. So I just, anything I do, I just want to uplift and inspire people and make sure that I'm purposeful in all I'm doing. Wow. And you're doing just that. Thank you. Now, now y'all want to see one more picture of her husband that she's so proud of? <laughs> Go on, throw him on up there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I, do you see He's going to love that. If he's going to love it. He's gonna, but you know what? Can I, he's actually very shy. Is he? And can I just say... Obviously, when I met Brian, I was extremely attracted to him. He's a beautiful man. But there he is again. But <laughs> look at she I can't have even look to at him say, uh -huh. I gave him a really hard time when I was on the show because I just didn't believe it. I was like, okay, I didn't expect someone like that to come on the show. He's 37, had a career as a chiropractor, been working for like a decade at least at that point. He lived in Miami. I didn't know. I was like, I, you know, I met some people, some guys. It's a little, I, 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 I don't know. And so I just said, let me give him a chance. And bit by bit, he just, I peeled back the layers and I got to see that he's even more beautiful on the inside. Aww. And I tell people this, I wouldn't have the success that I have if I didn't have a supportive partner like Brian. Wow. That is, that is 100% wow. the truth. That's worth an applause. Oh my God. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.